Good morning everyone, Curry Cold Chief for the Forecaster Joe Shark here. Take a look at TD9, here's the track I got out for this. 35 miles per hour this evening, 50 miles per hour tomorrow night. I uh, bring this in as a hurricane Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, and then weaken it over the state and then reemerges and may try to re-intensify again, re again on Friday as it moves off to the northeast. Here's the NAM, and I think the NAM, the high res NAM could be overdone. Here is tonight. And I do not believe this is going to be as strong as the NAM says it is, but we will see. Convection is starting to get around it, so it should currently be. But, I mean, look at this here. Let me try to get rid of this on the top. It gets it down to 978 over the next less than 12 hours or so. So, there's the wind. There's the pressure. Here's early tomorrow morning. The pressure drops it. Holy smokes. Okay, 978 to 937. In what is going to be nine hours? I don't think so. I, I just don't see, think this is going to get this strong this quick. But and, and regardless, what I did with the track, I, I took basically the NAM and the, the, the NAM and the Hurricane Model tracks. I combined them, and you're gonna and you saw that in the end there, and you're gonna see some other tracks here. But here's tomorrow afternoon, pressure 9:32. Thursday morning, 102 knots, 9:27. Thursday evening it's coming in to Tallahassee and goes up to 946. And then there's the hurricane tracks. So I went to the majority of the hurricane tracks, which are down here. So I, I brought it in right there. And I think, uh, yeah, I'll go back real quick and I'll show you the uh, track that I put up for this thing. And you can see the uh, track right there just to the north of Tampa. And that is where the hurricane models are uh, bringing in. You can see the majority. I went where the cluster was tightest, which is usually the best thing to do. So you can see where I, I took the, I, I went right down the center of the spaghetti garden. So here's the Hurricane Wharf, which I think is a little bit more reasonable with the intensity overall. So there's the Hurricane Wharf tomorrow. And then Thursday, it's September 1st, it's in. And almost where I have my track, which is a little bit better, I think. And then you can see as it comes out, it will begin to re-intensify as it gets off the coast. But anyway, regardless, north of Tampa, around the bend of Florida, you're watching out for this thing. Could become a, I think this is a, I think this is a shot that this becomes a minimum category one, but not to the extent of what the 12 ZNAM has. That's it for now, and thank you for watching.